Hi, Gemini. It's with a general reading for the sign of Gemini. So this reading could resonate with anyone who has Gemini um, strongly in your charts. My beautiful friends, welcome to this space. It's always beautiful and wonderful to have you here. I'm excited about this. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle. And um, when I'm done with that, we can start the reading. For those of you that don't like the shuffling, feel free to move ahead in the video um, to where the reading begins. What is here in the general energy for the sign of Gemini? What is here in the general energy for the sign of Gemini? And the current energy, please, for this group of Gemini people. Current energy for this group of Gemini people, please. Current energy for this group of Gemini people. Current energy for this group of Gemini people. I had a King of Wands coming out, but it happened because I pulled the card with my finger on the bottom. So I'm not going to take that one. Current, current energy for this group of Gemini people. Current energy for this group of Gemini people. Current energy, current energy for this group of Gemini people. All right, Gemini, um, before I begin, I want to um, say that I'm using the Wheel of the Year Tarot. Um, there will be an extended reading after this where I, I will go deeper into a few of the energies here, and then I will take this scenario month by month out into the month of June, um, or out five waves of energy, however you'd like to think of it, um, realizing that it's pretty hard to be definitive of timing when you use the, the divination, when you use tarot. So, my friends, um, let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what's under this card. Knight of Wands. Ooh, exciting. Well, Gemini, there's definitely some sort of choice that you're making and you're rushing, you're rushing towards it. it this is an exciting energy. Um, you're looking forward to getting there. You, you have something that's coming in for you that is... Um, a very exciting, it's a, this is something that, it's so very exciting. It's so, it's something that you're very um, enthused and optimistic about, and you're moving forward very passionately into whatever this is. Um, there is a change that's here, a choice um, to make, and it's not really a choice of whether you're going to do it or not. It's a choice of how you're going to do this. How should you do this? Um, there is a life path change or a job change or a life change coming in here. And there, there is some sort of a strategy here that you're going to be implementing some type of a new strategy. Um, the, we do have the Nine of Wands energy as well, which is a, it's like an offensive defensive energy, if that makes any sense. It's, it's an energy of knowing who you are. Knowing where you've been and the battles that you've fought and the battles that you have won, understanding who you are as a person, what you believe in, what your talents are, what your specialties are, how far you've come in life. And there's something here that you're taking action to stand in front of, to represent, to be an active participant in, um, but do it in a way that is safe and secure, beneficial, um, abundant. It's it's like you've been around the block. You've been through the trenches and whatever this is that you're excitedly moving towards, you want to do it in the right way and you want to protect it. You want to be careful with it. Um, it's a game of strategy, but you're, you're moving forward passionately towards it. So I see no hesitation. I don't see any hesitation. Um, I see a strategy and I see defense. So um, it's just like a game of chess or a game of checkers, but it's more it's more action than chess mm, it's more active it's a very active type energy very passionate look at this passion action there's things happening this is not finding clarity this is not anything about internal wellness this is passion taking action and moving forward with something that you feel very strongly about and doing it very enthusiastically and excitedly okay so this is a beautiful energy that you're in gemini all right, let's see what's here for you in the future. So here are the cards. Some of them I've seen. Some of them I haven't seen. High Priestess Energy. 
Ace of Wands. I'm not surprised by the Ace of Wands. Five of Cups. Ten of Wands. Knight of Pentacles. Oh, that's interesting. Eight of Wands. Eight of Cups. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, over the top of the Eight of Wands. Okay. Yeah, wow. Wowzers. <laughs> well, you're working hard here to bring in something new. And I think this reality that you're working to create, this new beautiful life that's ahead for you, is coming in because of the actions you're taking now. So um, what is ahead for you is something here that is a long-term, stable improvement in your reality with Ace of Pentacles. But that's not quite here yet. But you understand with this new action, with this new passion, with this new change in your life, that this is bringing in some kind of new, stable, long-term, improved future. Ace of Pentacles is on the horizon here with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So there's something here that's working on being manifested. And you understand that a part of manifestation is taking action, putting the work in, doing the work, taking action. And you're excited about it. You're not holding back. Now, it's interesting that the high priestess is the energy that you're in. Um, this is a very, this is a very interesting energy. This is an energy of someone who has internal spiritual connection, internal connection to the, to the inner self, to inner guidance, to intuition, to a belief system that brings strength and vitality. This is an energy that's a quiet, powerful energy. It's a quiet, intense energy. So whatever you're going through, others may not know. You may be keeping quiet about this about this new beginning or this new these new actions that you're taking or this new relationship you're stepping into. Whatever this Ace of Wands is, is passionate. It has chemistry. It has fireworks. It's something that is drawing you in and you are taking action, doing something new. Something new is coming in, right? And others may not know, and you may be keeping quiet about this situation. I don't think, even if some people know, not as many people know as they might have known 10 years ago, right? There's something, the 10 year ago you is no longer, you are the high priestess now. This is what I'm trying to say. Whatever this is, you are making decisions based on your own intuition and your own belief system, your own inner guidance, not going around talking to a million different people and getting all, this is a quiet, intense, action-oriented energy. Um, yep. Yeah. It's happening. It's imminent as well. Like it's happening. Communication coming in or travel or a lot of activity back and forth, but it's definitely coming in. It's definitely happening. This is helping you to walk away from something that has been quite difficult in your life. Whatever this is, you get to walk away from something from it. It helps you move away from something old, something dark, something that caused a lot of turmoil in your life. It was a five energy and you have two eights, which means endurance, empowerment, and movement forward. Eight of wands and you have an eight of cups. So whatever you're doing, you're using a lot of energy. You're using a lot of passion for it and you feel deeply about what you're doing. You've been hurt in the past. Something here that was a situation that just became too overwhelming, too um, too heavy. It was too heavy of a burden. It could have had to do with work or a relationship or just life in general. But something actually happened. Something had to happen with these five of cups and the eight of cups. Something that you had been putting attention into, love into, focus into, Something happened that um, it took it took you a while to to really see, and it took you a while to walk away from. But you have um, now been given some kind of an opportunity to walk away from something that has been really a long, dark, 
heavy, overwhelming, exhausting, depleting time, whatever that is. You were under somebody else's control or um, you were overgiving and you got yourself into a position where you were giving to everyone else and you were just depleting yourself, whatever it was. It, it is time for it to be over. And whatever this new is, whatever the new is, is giving you a chance now to walk away from something that is, is a long time coming. It's a long time coming. It's a long time coming. Okay, Gemini, let's keep moving forward. Um, I have been ill. And so um, I'm finishing off the readings for this week. And I am not going to probably be going so deep into the energies as I normally would, just because I don't have as much energy as I normally do, but I should be back to normal again next week with um, some delightful readings for you all. This one is, is delightful as well. Well, here we have the Queen of Pentacles um, with a higher font energy and the Five of Wands in lateral. So um, it looks like for the guidance is the Queen of Pentacles is a fragment within you Gemini, that is the workhorse. Of, it's a workhorse. It's a workhorse of all the zodiac signs. Um, the Queen of Pentacles can get things done. She really can. She is a worker. She works hard. She understands what she's doing. She understands the necessity for everything that she does. She keeps lists. She she has a routine. She puts one step in front of the other. She works really hard. And so the 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 guidance here is that the Queen of Pentacles um, is a fragment that will be helpful for you as you move into the future with this new action, this new passion and beginning that's starting. Um, to remember to implement the Queen of Pentacles within you, that quietly consistent, responsible energy that continually moves forward. Um, it's a it's an energy of consistency, reliability, uh, making lists crossing things off, managing time. It's kind of a, it's, it, it feels like it's an opposite energy. It's like an opposite energy to this flame energy, this Ace of Wands energy. But I think um, as you move through, it's going to be important for you to access this fragment within you um, and, and work to create a routine for yourself because whatever you're moving into is vital for your, um, for your empowered future, for your abundance in the future, for your, um, excitement and enthusiasm for life. So whatever it is, it is going to be necessary for you to really incorporate the Queen of Pentacles into into this into this um, into this new um, strategy. It's a, it's a it's an interesting, passionate movement ahead, but it's strategy. So it's a fast action, strategic kind of move that you're making. Um, we have the Hierophant energy. This is the energy of. Um, rules and regulations. This is an energy of like religious systems, um, groups of people that are all have the same mindset that are moving in the same direction. It's the energy of society and how we create structures within society so that um, we can all move forward in a way that doesn't clash too much with each other. It's an energy of agreements and contracts. So there's something here about formalizing, formalizing the system, creating a process, creating a contract, creating agreement, um, the need for structure. So we have two very structure energies here with the Queen of Pentacles and the Hierophant. So there is a need for structure here, a need for um, some sort of creation of a, some sort of formality of something, whatever this is, if this is a relationship, then there needs to be some sort of a basis for of understanding about the relationship. If this is a new job or a new business, there needs to be some sort of um, business plan or structure around the business that will help keep it within um, some sort of um, contained and reliable and consistent growth, something like that with a higher font energy. This is about management, consistency and management and understanding um, how structure can really bring strong abundance, strong success to whatever kind of um, new beginnings that we have, especially if they're these passionate, excited, full of chemistry kind of beginnings. We have the five of wands here in the lateral. So um, when I get into the energy of this, I feel like there is some sort of conflict that's kind of moving away from you. You're moving away. This conflict is kind of dropping away. I think the structure that's here is going to help this conflict, maybe even competition here. There could even be competition for you if this is a business 
um, sort of arrangement. There could be competition or some sort of um, energy that you're working alongside of and, and even racing with, if that makes any sense. Um, but it feels like with this structure and with this consistent implementation that we see here, um, if anybody can be a winner, it's the Queen of Pentacles. She is a, she is the backbone. And like the Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles can carry any organization. So this is a beautiful energy. It's also a calm, consistent energy. And um, there's something here about this conflict that's just kind of falling away. It's falling away. When I get into the energy of it, it's just falling away. Um, so I think this consistency and this formality and structure is going to really help take away any kind of conflicts or con contrasting energies that you might see. I just see this energy kind of falling away like that. Okay, Gemini, I mean, the reading is pretty clear this week. I have a lower energy, so I'm not going to spend so much time in it. I will do an extended um, reading though. And what I'm going to look at in that reading is definitely the Ace of Wands energy. So we're gonna look at the Ace of Wands. We're gonna look at the Knight of Wands energy. I wanna see what that is. We're gonna look at this um, choice that you have, this strategy that you have. And I'm definitely gonna look here at this Ace of, at this Ace of Pentacles that's coming in in the future. So we're going to look at two Aces, the Knight of Wands energy and the Two of Wands in the extended. And then we'll take this situation and move it out into the future. I'll pull cards for March, April, May, and June. So that's what I'm going to do in the extended. My friends, I know this was a shorter reading. Um, next week I'll be back to normal again and um, we'll carry it forward from there. Those readings will go out on Friday of next week because I'll be away working next week. All right, my friends, thank you very much. I hope you have a beautiful week ahead. And um, my best wishes um, to all of you in this exciting new chapter in your lives. Thank you.